So in the previous section, we discussed some databases and we choose the cloud file store to use it as our primary database. And now in this section, we are going to learn how to create the Firebase project and also how to link it with Flutter application of Android, iOS and finally with web. So first of all in here we have nothing, a simple application with an app bar within some text of Firebase setup. So here in the code, you have to do nothing but simply move to your browser. And after moving to your browser, in the URL, you simply need to type https console.firebase.google.com and after this, this will take you to the Firebase console. So after hitting enter, this window will appear in front of you. So you don't have to do anything in here. Simply click this add project. So this window will appear in front of you. Now you need to name your Firebase project in here. Let's say we will name our project Flutter Firebase Basics and after this, simply click the continue and this window will appear and leave everything as it is and keep your Google Analytics enabled for your project. Click the continue and select the default account for the Firebase Analytics and create the project. So this indicator will appear and after some time your project will be created. So after some time, a message will appear, your new project is ready and simply you have to click the continue. So you will be navigated to your brand new project and here will be the name of your project. So as we know that Flutter is cross platform and it can build the application for Android, iOS and even web from a single code base which is Dart. So here we need to set up the Firebase for the platforms like Android, iOS and the web individually. So first of all here we are going to set up the Firebase for our Android. But before this as we have discussed in the previous video Firebase provide us a lots of features like in the left menu you can see we have the build drop down button simply click this and some drop down will appear. It allow us the authentication, the app check, the two databases, file store and the real time. The file store will be the database which we are going to use in this series and the extension, the storage to store our media files, images and any kind of media. The hosting, the cloud function, the serverless function which are and the machine learning APIs remote config. And that was all for the build and for the release monitor it provides us crash latex, performance, just labs and analytics, dashboard, real time and all of the stuff also in the engage. So that's a lot of feature the Firebase provide us. So now let's set up the Firebase for our Android application of Flutter. So simply you need to click this Android and this window will appear in front of you where only one field is required and the two are optional. The second one is app nickname and the third is SHA certificate and this is only required for the authentication of Google so you will get to know about this also if you go for the authentication step. So first of all from where we can get the package name. So to get the package name simply move to your Android studio or any editor you are using and in there simply in here you will found this Android directory. It will be closed just like this. So simply open this up and go to your app directory here you will find the build gradle go to in here and you will see inside the default config you have to come a bit down here and here you will find this default config where we have the application id simply you have to copy this com.example.week2.com and simply move to your browser and also remember the com.example.week2 like this this will be according to your project name so my project name is week2 so that's why it's here week 2. So simply copy this and simply move to your browser and paste the package name in here. And also if you want to set the nickname for your Android application, let's say we want to name our application Flutter Firebase Basics and the third field is already optional and this was also optional so we simply set our nickname of our project and the SHA certificate is optional so we will get to know about this in the next step. So simply after this register your app and this will take some while and will navigate you through the second step to download and config file. So here we need to download this Google services JSON file which is the file provided by the Firebase and it contains all the necessary information of Firebase Android application to link it with our Flutter Android application. So simply click this and this will download the Google services JSON file for you. Simply copy or cut it from the downloads and after cutting it or copying it, let's move to your Android studio and here it is already saying in here in the project 
you have you need to open the app and inside the app you need to simply have to paste this google services json file in there so move to your android studio and inside this app directory simply paste this google services json file and click the ok and this is the file of which contains all the necessary information to link our android firebase application with the flutter android application so that's all you need to do in this step now after this again move to your browser and click the next and there is some configuration we need to do in our android application so first of all it's saying to make the google services json config values accessible to firebase sdk you need the google services gradle plugin and we need to set this google services gradle plugin in the root level or project level gradle file so here there are two gradle files in our android application let's move to the android studio so here you can see inside the android directory we have the app directory where we have the build gradle and this build gradle inside the app directory is called app level build gradle and the build gradle outside the app directory is called project level or root level build gradle so we have two build gradle files inside the android and this configuration was for the project or root level build gradle so we will go inside the build gradle which is outside from the app meaning that the root level or the project level build gradle and inside this we need to add some dependency so move to your browser and copy this com.google.gms.google.services and move to your android studio and simply paste this class path dependency inside these dependencies now after this configuration is done simply again move to your browser and that was it for the root or project level build gradle now down here you need to do some more things now here in the module app level build gradle now it is talking about the build gradle which is located inside the app directory so we need to add also this google gms services so copy this and move to your android studio and now go to the build gradle which is inside the app directory and in here you will see the apply plugins simply paste your plugin in here and copy this apply plugin from here and replace it on this id as just because we have a bit different syntax in our project and this can also be done by like it has it is going to have like the tag of the plugins and for all of these there will be the ids and their values just like it is in here you can see we have the plugins and all of these plugins inside the plugins tag and modified or as a modifier we use the id in here so it's also good to also put the apply plugin or also put all of them inside the plugin tag so that's two so the both ways are good now after this here you will see the dependency so we have also one dependency tag inside the module app level build gradle so here as we enabled the firebase analytics for our firebase project so we also need to add this firebase analytics copy this and move to your android studio and down here you will also found the dependency simply paste this in here so that was also it for this now again move to your browser and click the next so after this it will say you are all set now continue to your console so we have created the Android application for our Firebase and we have successfully linked it with our Flutter Android application. Now after this to completely set up the Firebase with the Flutter application you need to go to your Android studio and inside the pubspec.yaml file of your project you need to add these two dependencies in here the cloud file store and the firebase core the firebase core package or dependency is used to connect the firebase with the application and the cloud file store is a dependency or a package of to deal with the cloud file store database of the firebase so that's it now after this you need to simply pubgit in here so after the pubgit completes close this messages and go to your main.tar now ignore this message if you have one and simply you need to do some more configuration in here in your main.dart now in the main.dart first of all we will do widgets flutter binding dot initial initialized and after this we will do the firebase dot initialize app and this firebase dot initialize app is coming from the package which we have added the firebase core so this widget flutter binding means if flutter needs to call the native code before calling the run app here the widgets binding dot initial or initialize will make sure you have an instance of widgets binding which is required to use the platform channels to call the native code 
and we only need this widgets flutter binding dot initial initialize method if we need binding to be initialized before calling the run app so that was it for the widgets flutter binding dot initial initialize method and now this firebase initialize app method as this is a feature so for that we will do we will make our main function asynchronous and then we will put the await before the firebase initialize app so as i said this initialize app method is the feature so a feature is basically a single asynchronous computation so that's why we put the asynchronous or async and await in here this is because this feature method will take time to initialize firebase and the process will wait until this is initialized to prevent the application from crashing at the runtime so again that's why we put the asynchronous and await in here to wait until the firebase is initialized and then simply run the app so this will prevent us of application crashing at the runtime so after this if your application is running simply close your main dot dart and again simply run this so if you have successfully set up the firebase and there is no configuration needed so your application will run successfully if some configuration is required or needed so this will crash your application and your application will not run and this will throw a build or gradle exception so we have missed something and this throw the gradle task assemble failed exception so here it is saying the default config is min sdk version 19 meaning that it is required 19 and we have the default set it so let's go to the android application again and in the build gradle which is inside the app here we need to set the min sdk version to 19 and also make sure your multi dex enabled is true so that was it for the configuration now again run your application so this time if it runs so it again means you have successfully set up everything with your application and consequently we have successfully set up our firebase android app with the flutter android application so you can see our application runs successfully so it means our firebase android application is successfully linked with our flutter android application and now we are allowed to use our cloud file store in our android application but this will not allowed in the web and also in the ios so for that we need to create the web and also the ios application in the firebase and then we need to set it up with the flutter application individually now to set up firebase for the web application simply you need to move to your browser and you will see we have created the android application in here to create the application for the web also in the firebase and then link it to with the web application with flutter simply click this add app and you will see this web simply click this and this will navigate you to this page and here it requires the app nickname and nothing else and so simply you will name our web application it will be the nickname which is required flutter firebase basics web and keep this hosting unchecked in here simply register your app and after some time this will take you to the second step and in the second step you don't have to do anything in here simply we need to put this config data in our main dot dot where we are initializing our firebase application so simply copy this config and move to your android studio and simply paste this config in here so to initialize the firebase also for the web here we will do inside our main function we will check the condition if k is web meaning that if it was web platform so we will do the same await firebase dot initialize app where in the initialize app we have the property of option which accepts the firebase options so inside this it has the property of the api key so for the api key we will copy this api key which we have got from our firebase web application and simply paste it in here so that will be our api key now after this other properties of the firebase options are the same art domain project id storage bucket messaging center id app id and the measurement id so simply copy it from here and simply paste it in here so that will be it for the firebase web application initialization and the else condition of this if we will do simply cut this await firebase initialize app and paste it in the else condition now that was it for the configuration of the web application now again move to your browser and simply continue to the console 
So we have successfully created our Android and also the web application. Now after this simply again move to your Android studio and after this setup simply you need to run your application on the web but before this also remove this config from here as we have successfully set up in the firebase options so all the errors will be fixed and simply you need to select the web chrome in here and simply run your application in here so if you don't have this web directory in here so the flutter will not allow to run your application on the web so to get this web directory in here while creating the firebase while creating the flutter application like click this file create new flutter project and make sure you have selected the flutter sdk next and make sure you select this web in here so after this creating your flutter project you will get this web directory in here and this will allow you to run your flutter application in the web also after selecting this web chrome in here simply run your application so when this web application runs successfully so it also means you have successfully set up your firebase web application with your flutter web application so our web application runs successfully it means we have also successfully set up our firebase web application with the flutter web application so you can also maximize this and this is our flutter web application and as flutter says flutter is cross-platform where you can build the application for android ios and the web from only single code base which is dart so that was also it for the web and now we will go for setting up the firebase with the application of the ios so for that we need to switch to the mac system to set up firebase for ios in the firebase console go for add app and go for the apple in the first field you need the apple bundle id so for that move to your android studio and go to the ios and inside the runner.xcode project open this and inside this you will find the project.pbx project inside this search for command f in the ios bundle identifier and you will find this com.example.fig2 so simply copy this and go to your browser paste it in here and set the nickname for your firebase app let's say firebase basics and the app store id is optional for now so you can go for register app so when your firebase is not registered in the ios and you run your app on the simulator you will get an error something like this firebase core not initialized firebase has not correctly been initialized even though in the main dot dot we have initialized the firebase for the web and also in here but still we are getting this error while running the app on the ios simulator so for that after the ios setup has been completed we have to do one more thing and you will see it in a while so go for downloading the google services info playlist and from downloads move it to your runner file and click ok so you got this google services info playlist in here next go for the next and here skip this part go for the next and for the initialization also go for the next and continue to the console this time you have to do one more thing that is open your ios module in the xcode project after your xcode has been opened go for opening the runner and also double tap on your mac touchpad and go for add files to the runner and then go to the downloads and from downloads select this google services info playlist and add this in here after this let's move this to this runner and that's it after this has been done let's move to your android studio and rerun your project in the ios simulator after that your app will successfully run on your ios simulator you can see x call build done and we got this app on ios simulator so that was it for the firebase ios setup